out of the way, Toidles! Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Rhino Chopper with an exclusive Rocksteady figure. This is the mutant rhinoceros bad guy from the new movie on an awesome new motorcycle toy. The back of the package explains that the Rhino Chopper features a spring-powered grenade missile. The bottom of the package shows off the basic figures in this line as well as three other motorcycle toys. Let's get this guy out of the package. There's Rocksteady and the Rhino Chopper out of the package. This thing is really, really cool. I love how there's the rhinoceros horns on the front fender. I like all the cool detailing. Rocksteady looks great sitting on top of it there. The Rhino Chopper is really nicely detailed. You can see the whole engine sculpted in here. It's got these great handlebars and a little light there. The seat even has RS for Rocksteady on it. The back has this cool chain piece as well as these long exhaust pipes. And you can see it's got the spring-loaded missile launchers on it. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. They shoot really well. The bike has a little kickstand down here on the bottom that can flip out to help it stand up. And if you look right here, there's a little clip for holding a weapon. Speaking of weapons, the exclusive Rocksteady comes with the same weapons as the regular release. The bat wrapped in barbed wire and the mallet, but of course this one also comes with the one attached to the bike, a baseball bat with spikes on it. I think that's really awesome. Aside from the alternate weapon, the only difference between the exclusive Rocksteady and the standard release is the exclusive Rocksteady has more of a helmet with goggles as opposed to the leather cap with goggles that the regular Rocksteady has. They both have the same tattoo paint apps and great details on the chain and things like that, the camo pants and everything. So it's really just a change of head plus the extra weapon. They're similar enough that you might be able to get by with just buying this guy on the motorcycle and skipping the normal Rocksteady. I think from this shot you can tell that Rocksteady has some really great articulation there. Nice shoulders, elbows, hips, knees swivel at the head, he even has wrist joints, so he's really nicely articulated, very poseable, same articulation as the regular release, and he's pretty darn cool. I mentioned that I really like this Rocksteady figure, I also mentioned that I really like the design of the bike. The one thing I would critique is I feel like the bike is made out of a very cheap and kind of thin plastic. It's very lightweight, and I worry a little bit that over time that a kid roughhousing with it could, could damage it. The, the front end here is very thin. If I move the kickstand up, you know, I just feel like a kid really bashing it around, banging it around may eventually wear out some of the parts. I hope not. I hope not. I mean, it just doesn't quite feel as durable as I'd like. The Rhino Chopper is a fun toy with some great play value, having the figure you can attach to it, the spring-loaded missiles, and a whole bunch of great accessories for beating down the toidles. In the comments below, let me know if you were hoping they made a toy of that tank we see Rocksteady driving in the trailer. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Like I said, it's a cool bike. I definitely really enjoy it. But it does worry me a little bit about kids, you know, 